Hello, welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by Adobe Tutorial Man. Shall be teaching you on Photoshop slash Dreamweaver rollover images, and we're going to be creating them in Photoshop and then importing them to, uh, sorry, Dreamweaver and then making them into a rollover. Let's get started. Go to File New, and we'll name this buttons. On and has buttons. Uh, it doesn't matter what the width or height is, as long as you have a page. Make this to load up. We're going to get rid of the lock, and we're, and we're going to do uh, another new layer. We're going to take out the background layer, and so now it's all checkered. And we're going to go into our shape tools, and we're going to do a rectangular rectangular tool. Sorry, yeah. and just gonna make a box about that big. And the add gradient, yeah. you need to get your magic wand tool. Click shift and click the box. And we want it to be a tolerance is 100. This way we don't have to cover every little bit of it. You get your gradient. And I'm going to do a gradient of, um, I'll just do that white. So, okay. And wait for it. And just go into the box and just do that. Mm -hmm. Make sure until you get it perfect. Alright, that's fine. Now we're going to go to File, Save As. We want to save it as a GIF. Wait for this to slow up. I'm going to save, save it as a GIF. This way it can take out the background. And we're going to go into our website. Well, my website folder. I'm going to go to images. And I'm going to go... Alright, there's no images. So I'm going to save it as a normal button. On the button. GIF. Save. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into... Oh wait, index. Index. And okay, okay. And it's supposed to be another one. All right, put a gradient, and make sure this, it, this right here is be still selected. We're gonna change the color of the gradient. We're gonna make it red. Red. And red. Oops. Make it this red. Okay. Okay. Now, you need to make gradient. Uh, that's good. File save as a GIF. And we're going to save it as a. Uh, we'll s uh, what happened to the other one? I'm going to save it as a gift and I'm going to name it um, Roll Over. It's going to go into. Alright. Okay. And now we're going to change the gradient again. And we're gonna make it blue. Alright, blue. Okay. Okay. And now. Alright. Uh, trying to get better. Alright, file save as. We want to save it as a GIF. Alright, we're going to name it. Mm. Uh, select. Select. Okay.
since we are done with Photoshop, we're going to go into Dreamweaver and we're going to create an HTML. Now this is making the rollover into Dreamweaver HTML. All right, we're going to go to Insert. We're going to go to Insert in Objects, Rollover Image. And here from now on is easy. Type in the image name home. Original image is going to be uh, the normal. 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 And roll over. You go roll over it. If you want that to be that. And preload and roll over image. Uh, sure. And press OK and there's your uh, image now another way to get rid of the background so it doesn't look so big go, excuse me go into go, just click in the box go to border and click on this little crop here and you're going to shrink it until it's basically not showing and this uh, and just m try shortening it up. This way we don't have this much white. And the difference between a uh, JPEG and a GIF, GIF get rid gets rid of all the background. And we'll insert another uh, image, rollover image. We'll name this contact. Original image It's going to be normal. Normal. Now I'll make the rollover rollover image a different one. Select and yeah, that's about it. Okay. And go into crop. I'm gonna make sure that uh, I'm gonna lower down. I'm gonna make the width 300 and the height 250. 50. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this. 300, 250. All right. And we're gonna go into that, and we're gonna click the border and make sure that there's no white showing on it. All right. All right, and let's get all that border out of it. Okay. Uh, that is that, and I'll make the background image, the background color black so it can blend in with the rest, page properties, wait for that to load up, uh, background black, this way it can follow through with this, and go to insert, I'll do one more image, objects, rollover image, I'll name this about original image. We'll make, we'll make this normal. Red. Roll over. Okay. And that is that. I'm not going to do the like, get rid of the background because I think it does no good. Alright, so if you save it, pre save. Red. Oh, yeah. Nav bar. Well, it's not nav bar, but you have to name something. We are, and there's a pop up allow block contact. Yes, and as you see, when we roll over it, well, this is one since we were we made it blue. We select it, it's blue, but it's not going to go to anywhere. But if you click blue, if you click it, it's going to turn. Actually, it's just a roll over, so it, it's just a roll over. So yeah, it's a it slides down. That's cool. All right, and if you want to add letters to this, you have to go in Photoshop, type in letter, but get to do it separately.